Hey the Retro fans, welcome back to RGF Retro Game Force and today I will do an unboxing an unboxing of a game that I waited one year one year to get and this is a re-release for the Sega Genesis uh, Mega Drive and it's the Mega Man Wily Wars yes, Mega Man for the Mega Drive as a re-release in this video I will do the classic unboxing to check uh, all the goodies of this collector's edition because there's a lot of things to, to show you guys I can tell you I waited one week so I can make, the, make this video for you guys and I was uh, really uh, eager to, to, to open everything but I waited to do this video so I can do it together with you guys and as well I will do uh, open the cartridge to look at the PCB because it's always interesting to, to see old new things uh, on the modern era and as well I will try out the game on uh, PAL Mega Drive and on a Genesis Mega Drive or a Genesis console let's say like that so guys stay tuned so well packed by the way by um, Strictly limited games, and uh, yeah, here we have Mega Man Wily Wars for the Sega Mega Drive Genesis. Okay, let's take out of the plastic, and uh, yeah, it comes on this plastic sleeve actually and uh, okay this kind of cards in the front pretty cool we have a bunch of cards already from Mega Man Wally Wars collector cards whatever that means but let's check the cards looks cool by the way and uh, yeah, let's see how this comes out well, doesn't come out we need to take the cards out and oh okay so we have the characters from the games and some statistics about the characters I don't know if you can see airman shadow man guts man okay cool Metal Man and Mega Man, which is stamina and agility are the most strongest points of of Mega Man. Okay, cool, nice. Nine. Are things are they selling more? More of this? And uh, yeah, for this one there is a seal. And uh, yeah, I want to show you this out of the box, so I need to open this one. Oh yeah, I need to cut this one. But yeah, I need a knife. Let me go pick up a knife. Okay, now armed with a knife. Let me break the seal here without breaking it. Hopefully. I normally use this kind of protective seals for my... Um, oh, but this one has some art design on the plastic, you see? So yeah, this is made specifically for this. But I have it on my NES games and some Neo Geo games I have in my collection. Ah oh, yeah, so this is a, a sticker in the back of, uh, of the um, box itself. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I got this game, I got this special collection. Um, normally I go for limited run, but uh, it was already, um, yeah, not available. It was, a lot of people went for it. And I want this game on my on my Mega Drive Genesis collection, but it's super expensive and it's super hard to, to get. And this one comes with a lot of goodies. So, let me see how I can open it. Oh, okay. 
he opens like this. Oh, pretty cool. So again, I have the pixel art of all the enemies. And you have to cut as well this one to open, I'm seeing. Um, and I see already that we have some big cards. Oh, okay, so you can change actually the cover. So Mega Man, Capcom. These Mega Man games were amazing on the NES and they were heavily popular. That's why they, they that's why they made so many of them. Oh this is pretty cool, come on. And then you can choose your favorite and put it on the cover of the of the box. Yeah, that's cool. Let's choose another one. Uh, let's put Cutman because I'm cutting the box. Let's see if I can if I can do this properly. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, now we have Mega Man: The Wily Wars with Cutman on the front. Okay. So yeah, uh, let's see how can how can you open this without break it? Maybe with a knife. Don't want to break it. Special collector's edition. So here we go. Here we go. Okay, the the big oh there's a poster okay cool and nothing else inside really cool stuff put the box by side and then we have a poster and this is the the biggest uh, item of the of the show right well, let me check the poster Actually, it's a big poster. I think this is the Japanese artwork, if I'm not mistaken, and this is the European. Cool, maybe I put it here on the walls of the game room, because Mega Man is, uh, is really important. And uh, yeah, we have a case, really like a Mega Drive case. It's exactly the same, but there's no Mega Drive because license, you know, from Sega. But even the texture of the cover, I don't know if you notice, it's really, um, yeah, like the Mega Drive ones. For use with, let me show you here. See if I can. For use with the Genesis and Sega Mega Drive. I will test this on the video. I will test this on the PAL and on a Genesis or a Japanese um, Mega Drive. And we'll see how it plays and how it works. So let us open this. And this is a really special cartridge. Okay, so let me check what we have here. An instruction manual. Of course, uh, this is not it's it's rare to, and it's colored. So it's really cool. It's retro bit. Special thanks to Castlevania Limited Run, Strictly Limited Run. So this is where the guys that actually sold this uh, this version, and it's in English and in Japanese. From what from what I am seeing here, the controller, Mega Drive three button controller, which is enough to play NES games. By the way. And the Japanese version. Okay. Cool. Nice to have a really nice instruction manual. And now what we have more, we have power up. Okay. Whatever that means. Power up. Maybe uh Yeah, we'll see. You know the Mega Man on the on the Mega Drive. Um, we got the collection, the NES collection here on the Mega Drive. Um, 
Okay, so we got the certificate of authenticity, which is a common thing. Um, and I got one of the first ones actually. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, I waited long enough. I waited almost or one year. Uh, and stickers, because uh, you know, stickers. Always good. Some are pixel art, some not, but yeah, pretty cool, some stickers. And let me check, yeah, nothing else. And then, yeah, cartridge is pretty cool. It's special plastic. Um, Really like what they did. Um, it's a really special effect. Um, and yeah, here we have Mega Man The Wily Wars for the Mega Drive Genesis um, from Retrobit. Um, should we try to look into the PCB? It looks a bit heavy, uh, so it doesn't look cheap. So it looks quite heavy, heavier than the original cartridges for sure. So let let's open the um, the cartridge and see inside how it looks, and then we go for uh, yeah trying the game on um, two different regions, the uh, Genesis and the PAL uh, Mega Drive. So let's open the cartridge and look at to the PCB first. A full black PCB from 2021 and let's look into this oh it has there is a battery they could do it better without the battery for the safe states but uh, yeah so I don't know 10 10 to 20 years I need to change this battery um, but it looks pretty pretty cool, I would say. Mm, you could say Mega Man, but I don't see any anywhere uh, the name. But yeah. But it looks quite good. I like these black uh, PCBs, by the way. Um, so let's put it in place again. Okay, cool. It's finished, and now we need to yeah. Try it out. Try the game. So let's start with uh, with Genesis, and then uh, Mega Drive to see if it works properly. And uh, yeah, I will use my uh, OSSC to take footage. So real hardware here, guys. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will try it on my um, Retron 5 as well. So I will try in two real hardware consoles and one emulation-based uh, console. So, let's try it out. Guys, before we go to the uh, gameplay, I just noticed that it's something that um, I missed. There is a reversible cover, and I'm already putting stuff back on. Uh, but I noticed that it's there is a reversible cover uh, on the uh, main box. So we have here the PAL European region cover. But we have also the Japanese in the reversible cover, and this is common on these kind of releases, but I just somehow overlooked it. But yeah, here we have a reversible cover as well on the on this uh, special collector's edition for Mega Man's The Wily Wars. So let's now try, yeah, the game itself. 
Okay, so let's try it out on my Sega Genesis. What I notice is that the PCB don't have rounded, cut it rounded um, entries, which is not good for the consoles. But anyhow, let's try it out. Mega Man Wily Wars, right? I'm using my 8 bit do M30. Really big fan of this controller, by the way. And, uh,. Yeah, the classic Capcom logo and licensed by Retrobit, so yeah. Let's see how it plays. Uh, yeah, start, press start, option, start, press and start, nothing happens, B, C, start. Okay, here we go. Um, File select, you can have different files. Okay, let's go for Mega Man 2 because I'm a big fan of Mega Man 2. Yes. Mega Man 2. No, again. Mega Man, load file, yes. Mega Man 2. Oh, yeah, I need to press start. Love this intro, by the way. The intro of Mega Man 2 is very, very special to me really like the sound really like the feeling um, and also the scrolling effect effect in the top of the building but let's go through because uh, yeah I just want to see how it plays press start on Mega Man 2 and I'll go for Woodman start I think start is the only option to start the stuff okay good I need to do a um, side-by-side -side comparison between the NES version and this one because of course this is enhanced. But it plays well, pretty well. well the respawn enemies, they are still there. Are the rabbits? Ah, damn it! Oop, a lot of them. Come on! Still. Take this. But it plays, it plays pretty well, I will say. Um, so, yeah. You know, for my Paul um, Mega Drive, I have my uh, Mega CD Model 1 attached, that's why it looks quite bigger. But, uh, yeah, let's see how it plays with the Paul. Mega Drive, here we go. As well, using my um, 8 bit do wireless controller, and this one is 50 hertz, so yeah, it will look a bit slower. Game start. Should we go with Mega Man or Mega Man 3 instead? I don't know, let's go Mega Man and then try Mega Man 3 with my. Um, Retron 5, if it works, of course. Mega Man 3, here you go. Uh, I don't know. Why not? Magnet Man, because, yeah. Whatever, let's see. Okay, it's the same. It is the same. Ugh. No, but I jumped actually. But yeah, yeah. But it's it's um, it's playing great both on on 50 and 60 hertz, which is a good thing. So if you have uh, if you live in North America, you can also get this one. It will play. Ah, almost died again. Those magnets are killing me, man. So yeah, plays great, feels great to play this uh, an original hardware by the way, and uh, yeah. Okay, so now let's try the Retron 5, I'm using as well my 8-bit do wireless controller because a big fan, you know. 
um, and it's detected as an unknown cartridge. Uh, by the way, it looks like, uh, from what I read, that they improved some slowdowns that was detected on the original game. So, and that's why there are differences on the on the um, on the ROM file compared to the original um, uh, Mega Man Wily Wars. So that's why it's probably detected as an unknown cartridge. So yes, on my own decision to play it like this. But actually, it looks that it plays actually pretty good. So I decided to use Mega Man 1, as I promised you. And it looks very sharp, actually, the image quality on the, on the Retron 5. Uh, so yeah, Mega Man 1, start still. Rare, really sharp image on the on the Retron 5. Yeah, so it also plays great on the Retron 5. So you can also use this cartridge on the um, on your favorite emulation system that could read uh, cartridges, no problem. So guys, bottom line, really happy with my purchase. Really like this uh, collector's edition of Mega Man Wily Wars. And um, yeah, I wanted to add it to my collection. The original game was just too expensive. And this one has a lot of goodies, a lot of... Um, Cool stuff that uh, I would be a proud owner to, to have on my on my collection. So as usual guys, if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And, and also as usual, until the next video, take care and bye bye.